Okay, so this is going to be my guide on how to do the wanted blood cleaver bounty mission that you are getting in the new DLC. You'll see it's the only one with uh, a power uh, engram. A lot of people are trying to maybe grab it, but then they're like under leveled so they can't complete it. Well, as you see here from my setup, I'm only 503. I'm barely past max light. Like once you hit level 50, you can honestly just pop a bunch of coins and crap, hit 500, and then a couple power engrams will get you to 503. So it's really easy to hit 503 once you hit level 50. It's pretty easy. So my method I figured out, which is uh, I'll explain it now, and then I'll play a video on showing what I'm about to explain. But essentially, I suggest running two bows if you can. The first bow you can easily will be getting from uh, your first quest line. Uh, I think it's Petra gives it to you at like 400 and something. If you can't ascend it to 500, if you, unless you get one to drop for you at 500 like I did here. This is not the same one. And get a secondary bow. Um, if you don't manage to get one by this point, I say, suggest going to the gunsmith, handing in uh, weapon parts until you get a second bow. I, I also suggest for them both have explosive heads on. It really helps with this cheese. Uh, essentially, my method is is the guy goes into an invulnerability bubble when you get to him. And I figured this out immediately just from seeing the situation. And I saw another person's video where he kept trying to bait him out, kill the dogs. I figured this was a lot easier. Un Unfortunately, there's some turrets that I didn't know spawned and they end up killing me. You'll see I'll, I'll die, but then I'll go back in. He'll be at half health. So if you die, it's okay. If you get a past half, he'll just go back to half again. I even left the place to refill my ammo because I thought he'd be full health again. Um, but yeah, essentially when you get him down to half health, and even if you die, you, you could just go right back in and he'll be at half health again. So then I knew to watch out for the turrets and you'll see when I die what turrets to watch out for. There's like four or five turrets that end up spawning as his health gets low. You only have to watch out for a couple of them because the other couple can't shoot you over the bubble. By the time you kill them and the bubble disappears, they... Uh, it's too late for them to kill. You can just quickly go grab the case plus the bounty is completed the second you die. You don't even have to grab the freaking chest. So essentially the method I was going with is I'd go inside the bubble and I quickly was able to realize that you can't draw your weapon at all or even aim in the bubble. But you could throw your grenades. It's kind of weird. But I realized with the cheese of the bow, which I tried to do with the sleeper. It doesn't work with the sleeper. But with the bow, you can jump up and get out of the bubble, and the second you're at the peak out of the bubble, you start to draw, and as you fall into the bubble, and get back into the bubble, you let go. And your goal is to jump up, draw, fall in, and let go. And you want to try to get headshots. For the most part, he will stay inside the bubble, and you just keep jumping out, and headshots. Jumping out, go for a headshot. Get out, headshot. Sometimes you have some trouble, and you start to, like, kind of, like, glide up really slow like this. So you just got to let it glide and get out. It'll be like a half draw, but you just keep going. You just keep following this pattern and you just keep drilling them in the head. Get out of the bubble, immediately draw at the peak, fall in and let go. And you just do that over and over again. It's really simple, really easy. It takes some time. And that's why I suggest taking in two bows with uh, max ammo, because you will burn through the ammo. But like I said, I got him down to like halfway with only one bow at the beginning before I realized, oh shit, I'm about to run out of ammo and I threw on my primary bow because I remembered I had it. And then even then I died. He was at below half health. I ran outside, grabbed a bunch of ammo thinking he was going to be full health again. But no, he was half health, which just made it a lot easier. So yeah, just watch my video. That The rest of the video, it'll show you the full, my full fight with him. It's really simple, it's time consuming, but like I said, he's like, I think, light challenge rating 540, 550, and I'm doing this at 503. As you can tell, this is the setup I got. Works great. I brought the sleeper in with me, it was my highest heavy. I also used it to kill a wanted dude at the very beginning. I don't even think you have to kill him, but essentially yeah, you just go in and do the method I'm about to show you on the rest of the video with the explanation. I just gave will hopefully help.